Hi everybody, as my current Kickstarter draws to an end, um, I've added wireless control, uh, or rather a wireless control option that uh, every board is compatible with. You don't need to pledge toward it if you're interested in pledging. Uh, and I've added a, an RF receiver right here. This is the RF transmitter. Any button will act to activate and deactivate the systems. Now, again, there are four programs uh, with this multi-program uh, laser security system set and the wireless option works with program 3 and program 4 which are uh, laser tripwire 1 and laser tripwire 2 uh, and the uh, wireless control has no influence over the program 1 and two, program 2 modes uh, gesture and shadow now the uh, video manual is linked below so this this uh, video will uh, discuss how to uh, how to operate wire the wireless control so first of all, let's let's look at program four, which is uh, laser trip wire two. For simplicity, I'm just going to use one laser for this demonstration. Uh, right now, I've got one of our laser fixtures, part of the Kickstarter, uh, pointing a beam at close range to the upper sensor right there. Uh, you can have up to four, one on each sensor in this mode. Now, if I power it up, and uh, and I don't have the receiver plugged in or soldered in, I, I'm not using the wireless option, then nothing will happen. Now here's the here's the thing. Right now the only way to activate and deactivate is by pressing the cell button right here. But if I unplug it, I plug it back in and I immediately press the cell button, and then let go, you can see that the LEDs have scrolled three times to the right and that tells me that wireless that basically the processor is now uh, watching for both the cell button or the uh, signal from the wireless receiver so if I'm back here I can uh, if I have the antenna on the uh, transmitter up I can do this from quite far away uh, but even if I have it down at close range, I can still activate it. So I'll press any button. I'll hold it down for a second, let go, and the indicator LED turns on. First, you see all all of the LEDs scrolled to the right. Then the indicator LED turns on, and that tells me that the system is active. So if I breach the laser, I can wirelessly deactivate it. Or I could have pressed the cell button. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unplug it. Because, quite frankly, that scared the crap out of me. It's very loud. I'm going to press, press the, uh, the sub-command jumper to the rightmost pins. So we actually get a little bit of a, a timer between when you breach it and the alarm. And, uh, as you can see, I've enabled wireless communications properly. Uh, I'm going to activate the system. I can press the cell button, but I'm going to use a wire. I'm going to use the wireless key fob, and we are active right now. So I'll press the button to deactivate it, and now we're now we're safe. So I'll activate it again. I'll breach the system, and I'll hold down the button to deactivate it. So that's timer mode. Because I, I have the program select jumper to the right, uh, I'm in timer timer mode. So if I activate it, breach the laser, you have about 10 seconds to press a button on the, on the key fob or the cell button to deactivate the system. So activate, deactivate, activate, breach, Deactivate. Activate. Breach. Wait for the timer to run out. I'm going to cover the siren. Once that LED goes out, I can deactivate it wirelessly. I, I can also press the cell button just as easily. You get the same response. So we're only using one laser here. Um, you can use um, for up to four lasers. There are two sub-programs here, as I said, there's a timer mode where basically if you breach the laser you've got about 10 seconds to deactivate the system uh, and the indicator LED will blink during that time. Uh, if I have the 
um, sub program jumper placed on the middle and left pin, then as soon as you breach it, the alarm goes off. But you can still deactivate it wirelessly. Now, in tripwire mode one, uh, it works a little bit differently. We can use the top and or bottom uh, light dependent resistors. Uh, but we're only going to use one for simplicity in this video. Now, in tripwire mode one, uh, I've got my uh, jumper selecting PG3 program 3 uh, and because I'm only going to use one sensor uh, I have the sub program mode uh, select jumper connected to the middle and the right pin and that means that only the bottom light dependent resistor works in this mode if I have the sub program select jumper connected to the middle and left pins on power up then both the top and the bottom uh, light dependent resistors are used now, what's important to know about this mode is as soon as you activate it, you have to make sure that, that both uh, that lasers are hitting the sensors. They require bright light, uh, and because th it's because this, this version, this program is a little bit different, and you'll see why in just a second. Now, I want to mention that the, the entire um, video manual is linked below if you want to see all of the programs minus the wireless control this video is just trying to outline the wireless control feature in any case right in this right now the top sensor is not active just the bottom is so I'm going to wirelessly activate it and because the siren is loud I'm going to cover it up so for as long as you as, as long as you breach the laser, the alarm will go, will go off. Again, it's very, very loud. Uh, now, if you have two lasers, you can have one on the top, one on the bottom. You just have to have the subprogram select jumper connected to the middle and the left pins. So, you, before you power it up, before you enable and disable the system, make sure that you have your laser uh, connected. This is uh, the beam set directly on the LDR, uh, the bottom one and both the bottom and the top one if you power it up with the program select jumper on the middle to left pins. So I'll de wirelessly deactivate it now. And the indicator LED turns off and it's no longer active. I'll wirelessly power it up again. And there you go. So this is a wireless control. This will be in the written manual. Um, Oops, sorry. That's kind of funny. I hope you got a laugh. I'm gonna keep that in the video. Um, I, I knocked over the uh, I knocked over the fixture. <laughs> so I, I, hopefully you guys uh, aren't laughing at me, but you're laughing with me there. Um, anyhow, that's it. That's wireless control. It's extremely easy to use. You just need to make sure that if you are one of the people who is pledging towards this campaign, that if you have the wireless option, uh, that as soon as you power it up. You hold down the sell button, then let go, and you'll know that you've enabled the uh, wireless option because the LEDs will scroll three times, and that'll basically tell you that okay, we we know that the uh, the processor is telling you okay, I know that the wireless receiver is there. Let's go. So uh, since this is a later option, if you want the wireless control, it comes with the uh, the receiver soldered in place, or if you're buying if you're pledging towards a DIY kit form. Uh, you'll you'll get the wireless receiver to solder in place. Uh, I'll be making an assembly video, and of course it'll come with a wireless key fob with protective cover that slides on and off, extendable antenna, and of course a little keychain. So that's it. Uh, sorry if I've rambled on. I appreciate you taking the time. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. The Kickstarter link is also uh, listed below. Thanks for watching, guys.